I am Professor Vicky Karku, Director of the Research Center for Arts and Wellbeing at Edgehill University, a um, university in the northwest of England in the UK. I am also the co leader of the MSc in Psychotherapy and Counseling, Contemporary Creative Approaches, and involved in the teaching of the BA Honours in Dance. Amongst other things, I'm a qualified and practicing dance movement psychotherapist and I would like to propose some ways in which dance and the discipline of dance movement psychotherapy can make a contribution to the well-being of those affected by the pandemic, a pandemic closely linked with issues of social injustice. During the pandemic, we have seen dance in the streets and in neighborhoods performed in a socially distant way. We have also seen dance online in terms of uh, choreographed work, performances, as in this example here, as well as uh, online dance classes, which I know several of us have uh, joined uh, eagerly. We also know from research work in this area that dance and dance movement psychotherapy can be effective in the prevention and treatment of depression, an issue closely linked with the isolation and loneliness experienced and further exacerbated by the pandemic. Here you can see um, some examples from the Cochrane Review on Dance Movement Psychotherapy for Depression and a systematic review and meta-analysis on the effectiveness of intervention, which uh, has been recently published in Frontiers in Psychology. Furthermore, in a research project originally called Dancing the Blues and more recently renamed as Arts for the Blues, we argue that um, uh, dance and dance movement psychotherapy can tackle depression for a number of reasons. Um, dance can enable us to revitalize through the use of rhythm and playfulness, for example. Um, it can also enable us to uh, self-care through mindful movement or breathing exercises. Um, building non-verbal relationship is an important component of dance movement psychotherapy work that can be facilitated through mirroring or symbolic movement communication. Accessing and processing underlying issues through active imagination and movement metaphors, for example, can take place in a dance movement psychotherapy context. Aesthetic distance can keep this um, in depth and transformative experiences safe, so does the presence of a qualified therapist. In dance movement psychotherapy, enabling clients to move forward through the use of uh, movement improvisation or somatic uh, movement narratives also become uh, important. We argue that embodied experience such as this can create uh, uh, therapeutic changes that can be uh, transferred outside the therapy room and can have long lasting uh, impact. Turning back to the pandemic, um, dance has featured in hospitals in different ways as a support for public messages. Um, or as release for healthcare staff. Since the pandemic started, we expanded our research from working with patients to uh, considering the needs of frontline uh, workers. In collaboration with a number of uh, hospitals uh, in the northwest of England, we have developed a new model that has a multi level character. Um, as you can see here, level one involves offering movement based tasks and drop in sessions for staff in need uh, for decompression uh, because they have had a bad day, for example. Um, this level of work is open to all staff in uh, the hospital, all clinical staff. Level 
two involves uh, working with existing or new teams, uh, looking at ways in which they can be supported to manage the crisis through strengthening their relationships. And level three involves a more classic model of psychotherapy that is open to healthcare um, um, employees who display signs of stress, anxiety, depression, or post-traumatic stress disorder because of the pandemic, because they have been affected by the pandemic. Given the mental health and social crisis we are currently faced with, it is important that we rethink the contribution of dance and dance movement psychotherapy. Growing research evidence suggests that dance movement psychotherapy can offer in-depth experiences with long-lasting effect and that offer psychological support that is uh, more relevant now than ever. We also know that the discipline can serve as both prevention as well as treatment. Uh, we also suggest that principles of dance movement psychotherapy can be used in uh, psychoeducational programs in groups and organizations affected by the pandemic who need to revisit the ways in which they relate and function as a team. Furthermore, movement and dance can reach wide audiences, providing psychological release and offering immediate support that is very much needed. Finally, dance can be used as a tool for social activism, challenging discrimination and, and social injustice. We therefore propose that it is important that both individual and social components are attended to and that um, dance and dance movement psychotherapy can be a flexible response to the issues currently present in the world around us.